Hi you guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited to talk to you about the relatively new Cricut Maker. You might have heard about it before, especially if you were in the sewing community because it really has revolutionized um, things for those of us who work with fabrics. There are some really great features with the Cricut Maker, even if you have the Explore Air 2, which was the um, most recent update before this one, you're going to find a lot of really cool features in the Cricut Maker. Um, in addition to the ability to cut fabric, which we will definitely get into, but I just wanted to highlight a couple of things real quick. Um, you can see on the left hand side, there are a couple of little um, cups where you can store some tools, your markers, and have a variety of things on hand that you'll need when working with your Cricut projects. You can see that my cell phone is perfectly positioned um, on top of the machine in a cute little dock that's big enough for an iPad, a Surface Air Pro, obviously any phone. Um, so that's a really great feature. Additionally, you can also charge your phone while it is positioned into the dock. There's a USB on the left hand or on the right hand side um, and you can charge your phone while you're using your machine, which is awesome. You have all of the controls that you're familiar with if you've used a Cricut machine before um, with your on off button, um, the button to insert the mat, the button to start a project and the button to pause a project. So that'll all seem very familiar to you. You also have this really great storage compartment underneath where you can store a variety of tools. And the thing that really revolutionized Cricut kind of from the beginning was the ability to swap out these um, different tools for different projects. So whether you're working with paper or fabric or wood or you know whatever medium you're working with there is a um, blade that can be easily swapped out here and put back in. And as you can see, the rotary blade is exactly what you would think. It's very similar to the rotary cutters that we use on our fabrics, um, the handheld ones. It is a round blade um, that allows it to work its way around nooks and crannies and cut fabrics in a way that is very precise and accurate. In addition to the rotary blade house, um, we also have this docking station as well, which is for a marking pen. So Cricut has come out with their very own washable markers. Um, you just pop off the top and you place it right into the holder here, snaps in place, and then you close it up like so. And then the machine, as it cuts your fabric, will also mark any um, cutting lines, any um, stitching lines, any marking lines that is included with the pattern that you're using. So that is the machine in a nutshell, all of the features that I love about the Cricut Maker. And now we're going to talk a little bit about the software that comes along with using the machine. And that is called the Cricut Design Space. The best part about Design Space, in my opinion, is that there are a lot of projects that are already preloaded into the software where you literally have to click a couple of buttons and your machine is off to the races making a brand new project for you. Um, there's a ton of fabric craft projects in here, things that you wouldn't even consider, like earrings, um, you can also do accessories like boot toppers. Um, if you want to work on home projects, there are pot holders, there are dog clothes, there are just tons and tons of projects in here that are already ready to go and you don't have to do any additional work whatsoever in terms of designing or creating a pattern. So it's really great and very, very easy to use. But today we're not going to be making a project 
just yet. Instead, I thought it would be interesting and helpful for everyone to see just how amazing and powerful the Cricut Maker really is. It claims to be able to cut over a hundred different fabrics, so I went through my fabric stash and I pulled a variety I'm talking like running the gamut of the fabric selections out there. And we are going to be testing out the machine. So in Design Space, I have created a very, very simple project um, that should uh, show us uh, the best of the Cricut Maker. I chose some basic shapes that I thought would be a challenge for a sewist to cut out by hand. Um, that is kind of a flower shape, a heart, a star, and a circle. A lot of those curved lines that can be tricky, a lot of those angles that can be tricky. And so we're going to throw all of our fabrics onto a mat and we are going to cut out these very basic shapes in each of the fabrics that I mentioned and we'll just see how they do. So when you go to make your project, um, you are going to get a screen that allows you to choose the material that you need the machine to cut. So the initial screen is just going to show you some popular um, materials, which includes some paper products, um, some vinyls, but also fabrics, which are all of these in the red category. Everything from faux leather, felt, cotton, light fiber, light fabrics, but you can also browse all materials and you can even separate into a fabric category and they have tons of them listed here. Bamboo fabric, broadcloth, calico, cashmere, chalet, chambray. I mean, the list goes on and on all the way through the alphabet um, and you just pick the specific fabric that you are working with. And let's see, our first one is going to be fleece. So let's go find fleece. You can also type this in in the search bar and then click done. It prompts you to load the rotary blade, which we already have, um, load your fabric onto a mat, and then load the mat into the machine, and then we will be ready to cut. So I have my fabric, my first fabric that we're going to test, the fleece, loaded onto the mat, and then I insert the mat into the machine. And now the machine is ready for us. So let's see how it goes. And just like that, we are all done. And to see how we did. There we go. Just a couple of snagged threads. Let me get our little heart out here. Um, it looks like I didn't place it on the mat accurately, so the heart got chopped. But you can see there's our star, our circle, our flower, and our heart. So I'm going to continue to cut out all of the fabrics that I have and I will show you the machine as it cuts them all and show you the results after each one.
there you have it. As you just saw, the Cricut Maker is a powerhouse when it comes to cutting fabrics. It can obviously cut a variety of fabrics as well as cut them precisely and accurately. I'm going to have a couple of projects pop up on here over the next few weeks, including a coat for Sunny and some labels for my pattern boxes that you're definitely going to want for yourself. If you're ready to invest in a maker, I've got a link for you in the description box. And that does it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.